Hey guys, this is Chris with CW Built, and I'm here with my six month review of the Lenovo Flex 14 2M1. This is not the uh, what the case of the laptop actually looks like. It looks like this, just kind of a almost like a steel look. Got your heat vents down here, one speaker on each side, large foot in the back, two smaller feet in the front stays in place pretty well. Charging port on the left side along with HDMI and USB-C and a microphone headphone jack. <clears throat> on the other side you have two type A ports, an SD card reader, your power button, and I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to look in and get back to it, get back at the end of the video. Also comes with a touch pin. Um, don't, I really don't use it much. It works pretty well when I do use it. It comes with a quadruple A battery, I believe. Takes forever to unscrew. Yeah, comes with a GP Alkaline quadruple A 1.5 volt battery. I'm gonna put that back in there. Pen comes with this little mount that, best I could figure out, you stick into your USB port to hold the pen. I'm not sure whether they have this. It looks like it's to hold the pen upright. Just, I mean, I'll show you. It just doesn't work super well. Maybe if I push it in a little bit. No, you can't really push it in. I've never used it like that. I've stored it like this. That works really well. Usually, I just keep it in my drawer though. Now, we open the Lenovo Flex 14 2 in 1 up. We have an FHD touchscreen, uh, Ryzen 5 3500U CPU, and a Radeon Vega graphics. It has this uh, fingerprint reader to unlock, decent size touchpad. I mean, it could have been a little bigger if they had the space for it, but. I'm really not complaining too much. It says it comes with Dolby Audio. Maybe it does, but the speakers on mine are absolute trash. Like, let's let's pull up something to play. We'll go to YouTube. It's gonna take a little bit. My internet here is not very good. Let's do uh. YouTube safe songs. Copyright free music. When you're getting started in video, it can be frustrating because there's a lot to learn. What is the word? Copyright free music. Now the song itself actually sounds good. Got a little bit of bass, not a whole lot. But there's this constant crackling ever since I took it out of the box. It's just incredibly frustrating. Now, screen brightness all the way down. Compared it all the way up. I just did volume, didn't I? Hold on. <laughs> okay, screen brightness all the way down. It's almost green off. You can only really see the bar down here. Screen brightness all the way up. It looks, it's decent for inside. Definitely workable. Uh, great. I've, this has been my, a great laptop for me to do school work on every day. If you take it outside, you can't see anything at all. So, if you want to do your work outside, not for you. Uh, some problems I've had with this, let's unplug it for a second. <clears throat> My first problem was when I took it out of the box, I'd flip it into tablet mode. 
and the keyboard would still be functional on the back. And it'd be typing and I'd be doing a touchpad while I was in tap mode. That was very frustrating. I spent two hours on the phone with Lenovo customer support and they had to take over my computer and unsolve, reinstall drivers, all kinds of stuff. Very frustrating, but they eventually got that fixed and I was happy with it for a while. About two months ago, the control buttons kind of work. Um, like, if I was trying to use hotkey to cut and paste, I'd say the control buttons themselves work about 25 to 50% of the time. That's pretty frustrating. Um, in the last couple weeks, the right button has stopped working all the time. So it seems to be working fine right now. Uh, I'd say that works 75% of the time right now. I don't know why. I don't know what's different. It's not, I don't game on it, so I'm not mashing the keys. The keys themselves feel pretty nice, actually. A good amount of travel. There is quite a bit of flex in the keyboard, but not so much that it feels cheap. Uh, you can see that the keyboard is backlit by white LEDs. That's helpful if you're sitting in bed at night watching a video or writing a paper, whatever you're doing. Um, what else? I use folding at home occasionally. I'm using it actually right now because my PC is torn down. I'm doing a build video on it. I'm going to be doing a hard line build. Um, it, it, folding at home works fine on it. I, I, I've edited videos on it. works fine. It has 3500 views, so it's not the best. Oh, the wrong one. It's not the best processor for folding or for um, video editing. Honestly, to edit a seven minute video, it takes hour 20, hour 30 minutes to render the video. So that's not optimal. But for everything I do for school, writing papers, watching lectures now online, uh, coding in NetBeans, in brackets, it, it's, it's a it's typical Lenovo computer. It's a workhorse. It does what you need it to do. And it's honestly great value. Uh, this was also a, a review by Linus Tech Tips. So that's actually why I bought this computer because they gave it a pretty good review. I'll link their video in the description. But other than that, that's all I really have to say about it. Um, would I buy it again? Not after the problems I've had with it. <laughs> they're not huge problems, but they, they're enough that I wouldn't I would try something else. I thought that was something on my screen. It's it's Daisy's eye. That's my dog. In case you were wondering. Uh, but thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys soon.